All right, back with some more programming. Um, after I made a bunch of this stuff, I realized that there were some issues with this. Or uh, no, not issues, but I could do this better. Um, the main thing is this right here. So you always load, right? That's that's the big thing. So we can just put the load right here in front. And then we get rid of this. And this is also a load, so we can get rid of this too. Right? And then recreate archives only needs to save. And now, I can also put recreate archives back into this function right here. Uh, dude, I totally fucked this up. I totally fucked this up. This needs to be removed, and this needs to be removed. Okay, now it's good. Now I can add this back in. Okay, so there's another option. Um, and I want to try that, too. Let's get rid of this. And what we can also do is go straight here and just add it like this. I don't know if this is going to work, actually. I don't know the exact syntax for, for a boolean value. This might not work. We'll see. Okay, it did work. And I want to do a break here. And we want to see if recreate archives is false, which is correct. And it wasn't set here. Okay. In between recordings, I thought of a way to get control over when event stuff is executed. And I'm going to implement that right now. So what I'm going to do... Is this going to work? Yeah, yeah, this should be fine. Okay, now, we want to, now I'm going to add another function here. So there's going to be a bunch of stuff here. Like the game loop. The draw loop should be called right here. And right here is also where we're going to add another function. Oops. Like that. So now I know when events get processed. And that also means we're going to put this, gonna put this right here. And this is only going to be this right here. Nothing else is going to be in here. Now that I think about it, what I could also do is instead of this calling handle event, it could just like directly add stuff to the event queue. But I think that's a little, um, a little iffy. Okay, so this is like super important, honestly. Having this, having control over this, is, over when events are processed is really important. I want to clear the event queue every time. I don't want it to go like infinite size. Uh, what I'm going to do right now is work on this. I need to make an enum. I think I have to put it here. So what I'm okay. So if I define it, if I def hmm, I guess I can just define it here, right? Yeah, I guess that's fine. So like this. I know it automatically numbers these, but I like putting the number. There's a reason I'm actually putting these numbers behind here, and that's so I can actually see very quickly which number is which. And that is because of because of uh, serialization. Because it's going to get serialized as a number. Because you cannot serialize enum as anything other than a number. So let's go to our serialization right now. Um, function right here. I wonder how serial deals with this. If I just do like this. This is 
to be fine. Function. Okay, let's see if this actually works. I want to see what what uh, serial does. Binary operator equals menu.h. 79. All oh, right, okay. Okay, that should be it. Let's try that again. It's weird that it's a... Uh... Oh, wait a minute. Uh, I think I just realized what's going on. This is actually not, has actually has nothing to do with the serialization thing. I think this should fix it. Okay, it actually loaded. Let's see this. It's all still zeros. Hmm. And it did recreate the archives, right? Let's see, actually. Let's do this. Run it again. Let's take a look at menu structure. Menu structure and then function none. Menus. Uh, M1. Second. Function. So I guess it's serialized as a, as a number and that's fine. Oh, shit. <laughs> Wait, I need to um, continue so this actually gets filled, I think. There it is. Yeah, see? Okay. It's, it's recreated as numbers. Okay, that's fine, actually. That's fine. Um, so let's try like like something like this. Uh... No, wait, let's do this. Wait, no, okay, hold on. Let's do this here. One, zero. False is good. And one was. I think it was like test. Now we want to do. Now we want to go here. Uh huh. Menu structure dot. Wait. Um. I want to switch case. Okay. Um. Yeah. No, I'm not even sure if printf works, but we're just gonna give it a try. I don't even have a console. It's like auto hidden. Uh. What if I do like. Device drop. Let's see what that does. So this should be the second window, right? Okay, hold on. Actually, I want to change the text. I think about it. This should be the one false. Yeah. So first window. Oh no, it's not. Oh, wait. There it is. That's the issue. All right, it's still broken. Um, let's break. Where is it stuck? Call stack. Oh, wait, it's stuck in draw. Did I even remove the loop from draw? I didn't. Okay. Making some pretty silly mistakes right here. You know, I do. Gotta, I gotta say, um, debugging with like a visual interface is so much easier than it is with like GDB. Drop there it is. 
it crashes. Woo! That's great. That's great. That's exactly what I want. Kind of. I mean, I just wanted to. I just wanted to make sure that this that this is actually called. All right. That's it for now. I'll turn to this later.